Hello and welcome to Giga Play Studio Tutorials. Let's look on the creating, for example, trunk and some additional properties and filters that we can use it. The one what we're going to do it is think this is not tree, it just maybe cut down tree with a trunk. So we'll go to reduce this size maybe to five. Next, I want to enable the root flares. Okay, and the root flares, we're going to extend them. So let's go ahead and make a little bit more depth so you can see the longer. You don't necessarily can go string to this, you can always just type in number if you want to create a longer effect. Also, let's increase um, randomness to pop up a little bit more. Okay, we'll increase height of our root so you can see we can kind of apply it as well right here. Let's do it a little bit further. Okay, and maybe this one set to seven. Some random number. Again, if you think some of this a little bit too um, strong, so we can decrease. Okay, and same, let's go inside the influence. And we'll set this 0 0.3 and influence maybe 0 0.5 on this one. Just add a little bit twist and kind of effect. Okay, right here we have a base swell, so we can increase and you can notice on the bottom how it just slightly is going, so we'll create a little bit more natural look. Okay, as well, let's modify slightly shape. Okay, we can preview if it's work better on the end or we can just slightly increase right here. Create a little bit flatter. I think kind of doubling almost. Let's click OK. So you can see we're creating kind of more sophisticated roots and we'll use the material displacement after to create it kind of really interesting more distortions on this case um, sometimes the height can go all the way up to so if we go five same as right here you can see we're going very high to the top almost of our root it's creating more natural kind of look trunk the cap profile it's this top one so if we're going you know, and add a very close one and bring kind of slightly down. Right here you can see we're creating slightly cup, maybe a little bit too tall. So we can always bring just a little bit in. Okay, let's zoom in. So right here, again, um, you need to increase resolution if you want to see these more fine details. So when we click, you can right now see this have a teeny tiny border on the side. Okay, next let's look at some materials. We'll go home. In our materials and you look right now we have a segment body displacement so it's what I want to use it we'll go enable let's extend a little bit higher so we can view first we'll go connect source so we'll connect parameters we'll go to use it um, fractal and let's lose green fractal for this okay, and we'll just connect right here altitude we don't need this 
not anymore. Okay, we'll go inside and let's also connect amount as well to this. So we'll go connect parameter. So we'll just take it, connect to same. So we'll delete at this point. I will increase a little bit preview resolution so we can kind of see um, a little bit higher res for this. And inside Grand Fractal, we'll start working on this one. First, we'll see too many small details. So let's pop up our small details higher. Okay. And I want also add to the Z to the top. So you can see we have a beautiful trunk now. Displacement going right on top. You know, maybe um, reduce to 15. So let's see. Okay, we have a very strong, so it gain a little control. Okay, that's look a little bit better. And again, as I said, I think 15. Okay, yeah, 15, let's go down to 10. There you go, 10, I think, look very interesting. So you can see we have it very nice very interesting trunk already created okay, with a flat top we can actually work same things we can go inside and add um some effect to the top so if we're going in a segment you'll notice we have a cap right there as well the cup displacement so we can work on a cup add maybe edges a little bit higher or other effect but for now I'll just want to leave it like this except maybe add um, one more segment okay we'll go inside here let's go to the segment just add one Pop up closer to the top Okay, inside segment we'll go to set maybe five. Let's set minus twenty. And we'll set this one to ten percent. Okay, it's going a little bit too high, so I want Almost growing from the side, that's what I want to do. Okay, we'll go right here. We're going into influence zero dot five. Um, pop up just slightly string so it will make effect we'll go copy paste this one and connect to our segment kind of almost branches looking okay we'll go to the segments here let's add six and there you go, 137. Again, this is just, I'm playing around right now. Oops. Pop up a little bit closer to the top. Now let's say segments to 70 maybe. Kind of growing, growing, and we can add some leaves to this plant. So, geometry, let's go to segment. This will be our leaves, so we'll set one right here. 
this one may be to zero we don't want width for this so we'll go to enable blades let's modify our blades so it's a look a little bit more like a leaves rounding them up here click OK okay so I'll just switch this spread and width they're gonna wrong ones we'll go to add a little bit of the curving inside so you can notice all right here we kind of start curve the sleeves of course we want to flatten on the end and add okay, a little bit more let's go to segment for our children again this is just play around you don't need to do this But overall, right here, we're creating our trunk and apply material so you can see it's look very kind of nice, real, without even having texture, just what we did with the uh, displacement and modifications. Okay, of course, we can go ahead and get okay, our segment right here. We can go inside materials and apply some of the materials from here of course on the cup actually I want to change this one we can go modify this and uh, preload it if you have it, any texture you can go ahead and preload this one or if you purchase turtles you should have this um, available for you we'll just apply make it a little bit more dual click OK here let's go in the segment and modify materials on the segments so will look a little bit more grayer and in our leaves okay we'll go materials and we need to work on the blades they're already green kind of looking but we can modify them to look more green or we can preload it map pictures okay we'll go right here select plenty of the leaves we can select from okay, we'll just select that one same reduce highlights okay And let's click preview. This is render and preview mode, so we'll again just rough look, see what we have it. Okay, so we have a very simple tree we created with bark, some pre cut, and plant as well. Okay, let's um, just before we're done, so let me go ahead and render in the final mode. Okay, and here's a trunk we completed so thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please remember visit us and web is www.geekatplay.com